Okay, so in our lesson here, we're going to go ahead and texture our tail lights. And like I like before, we're just going to be using the uh the same process of just, you know, using a planar projection map. Um we'll go ahead and un unfold the the actual mesh part in UV and then we'll just simply apply a JPEG material to it. So, let's go ahead and UV map all of these and we'll just select each one and do it individually here. Um, we're going to go into our planar mapping options and we just want to project on the Z axis and it's just going to take a little bit of time to go ahead and select these all. I'll do it individually. I'm not going to do them all at once. This way I get a better projection and if I did it with the left side and the right side at one time it would project on the entire model and I actually don't want to do that like the scale of the entire model the the UV projection map would not only be here but it would continue all the way over to here and I don't want to do that I want to project on a singular one this way I tend to get a better layout in terms of um, the projection so we'll just go ahead and select all of them do them all individually I'm gonna go ahead and open up my UV editor here and um, I'm going to go ahead and turn on my shade UVs and you can see that these are all going to pretty much come out red. I have to just go ahead and be able to select these here. You can see that they all pretty much come out red and this is because we're they're actually being projected from behind the model. They're not, you know, being projected from within inside the front of the model. And so we have to go and reverse our UVs. And that's just the uh the normals button that I created here which is reverse normals and I just added it to the shelf okay so let's go ahead and select each one of these and we're gonna basically unfold the uh, the UV shell here and I'm just gonna try and edit it so that it's it's fairly straight go ahead and move this one over and I'm gonna do them pretty much the same ones so if I do the top one on the left side I'm gonna do the top one here on the right side just so I can match the the UV shells properly and we just go ahead uh, have to go ahead and unfold that as well okay I'll reselect that side and make sure that the scale is proper okay and then I'll just go ahead and move it back over scale it down so it's in the zero to one space basically do the same thing here for the bottom one or the middle ones UVs just grab the entire shell unfold it go ahead and move it over select this one select the entire shell unfold it and go ahead and make sure that it's matching in terms of size go ahead and scale it down so it's in the zero to one space do the same thing here for the third one go ahead and move this over select the other one here we're going to go ahead and unfold it Just make sure that the size matches and that's fairly close. Go ahead and move it back over, scale it down. Okay, I can go ahead and close that window. I'm going to bring up my hypershade window here. Now, depending on um, how I actually want to go ahead and set the, the textures up here, I could reuse the uh, probably the same ones that we're using for the Fiat logo here, but um, and, and that would probably be okay and I think that would be fine but I think I want to go ahead and make my own so we're basically just going to use the same JPEG file um, for the texture and we're just going to use the same process so we're going to need to go ahead and create three of them two and there's three I'll do it individually here so we'll go ahead and select the first one plug a JPEG here into our diffuse color which is going to be uh, the white lens do the same thing here for the middle one and we need 
to use that orange one do the same thing here for the third one and we need to grab the red one which is right there and I'm going to try to basically get all the reflection here the same as well so the white one turn the reflection down a little bit and the red one there same process over and over again go ahead and select the top ones add the red material to it select the middle ones add the orange material to it select the bottom ones add the white material to it um, maybe not we'll just go ahead with the with the orange it'll probably be fine for both of those as well and then we're going to do these little turn signals here on the side so we're just going to go ahead and instead of doing uh, the planar projection in the z-axis we're going to go ahead and do it in the x-axis I'm going to do the same thing here for the other side go back over to the left side here open up my UV editor again select the entire UV shell just unfold it scale it down so it's in the 0 to 1 space go back over here to the, the right side I need to go ahead and flip this unfold the shell go back over here to the left side and just try to match the the size here and we'll go ahead and add the the orange material to these and there you can see that our bottle is starting to come, to come to come together pretty well there um, we can probably go ahead and do the front ones here too so we would actually need to go ahead and do this in the in the z-axis planar project it do the same thing here for the other side go back into the UV editor and we'll need to go ahead and unfold this here scale it down just make sure it's in the 0 to 1 space do the same thing there for the other side and select the other one and basically just scale it down so that it's going to fit and be the same size go back to the object selection mode select them both and go ahead and add the orange material to it and there you go you can basically see that you can uh, go ahead and get the texturing portion of those lights done fairly quickly